introducing Mr. Bones, played by David Burns. Introducing Mr. Tambo, played by Harold Adamson. Introducing our interlocutor, Eddie Boy Jr. Gentlemen, be seated. Good evening, Mr. Bowen. Good evening, Mr. Interlocutator. I hear you bought a new house. Yes, sir, I did. That's good. No, sir, Mr. Interlocutator, that's bad. Well, why is that bad? My mother-in-law came to live with us. Well, that is bad. No, sir, that's good. Why is that good? The house burned down. But why is that good? She burned with it. <laughs> <laughs> and now the golden voice of Jack Brown as he sings Mandy. Sure would be dandy if we'd let her make a fee. So don't you linger. Here's a ring for your finger. Isn't it a humdinger? Tambo. Uh, we got a goat at our house, and he ain't got no nose. He ain't got no nose? Well, how does he smell? Terrible! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Interlocutator, I saw your girlfriend the other night. You did? Yes. Why, she's as pretty as a picture, isn't she? Mm -hmm. She has the face of a saint. A saint? Yes, a Saint Bernard. <laughs> <laughs> and now we feature our sand dancer, who will dance to Sleepy Time Gal.
Potato? Yes, Mr. Bone. I passed Mr. Tambo's house last night. Yes? And you know something? He ought to pull his shades down. Why is that? Well, when I walked by, I saw him kissing his wife. You saw him kissing his wife? Well, what have you got to say to that, Mr. Tambo? I say the joke's on him. I wasn't even home last night. <laughs> <laughs> and now the world is waiting for the sunrise. Played by John Kelly and his talking banjo. of the Swanee River Four singing Kentucky Bay. Skeeters am a humming on the honeysuckle vine. Sleep, Kentucky Bay. Sandman am a coming to this little babe of mine. Sleep, Kentucky Bay. Silvery moon am shining in the heavens up above. Bobolink am pining for his little lady love. You are mighty lucky, babe of old Kentucky. Close your eyes in sleep. Yes, Mr. Tambo. There was this traveling salesman. Yes. He was driving through Kansas and he ran out of gas. Yes. Well, he stopped at this farmhouse. It was the only one around for miles. Yes. And he told the farmer all about his predicament and he asked him if he could spend the night. Uh huh. Well, the farmer said that would be okay, but he'd have to share a room with his young son. Well, what happened? Nothing. He was in the wrong joke. <laughs> <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, with extreme pleasure, we present our own interlocutor, Mr. Eddie Foy, Jr., singing, I Want to Go Back to Oregon. Oregon, I want to go back to Oregon. Oregon, I want to go back and stay. I could buy the horses, many a bale of hay, for all that I have to pay to feed a chicken on old Broadway. Aragon, there's somebody back in Oregon 
who calls me Uncle Pat, not Uncle John. I will go on, I go away, go wish I go away, go wish I go away, go on. I will go on, I wanna go back to Oregon. I go on. Go wish I go away, go wish I go away, go on. I will go on, I wanna go back to Oregon. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, for the finale of our first act, the entire company will sing a melody of old time favorites. If you feel like joining in, sing with us. There are smiles that make us happy. Thank you. I'd like to give an impression of my father. In a number he did years ago entitled, He Goes to Church on Sunday. Say, I know a very wicked man. I knew him when a lad. I never met his equal telling lies. Although he takes delight in doing everything that's bad, he thinks he'll go to heaven when he dies. When but a child, he robbed his dear old grandma in her sleep. He stole two golden teeth out of her jaws. Say he's been a kleptomaniac since he began the creep. 
And the neighbors think that he's all right because Ah, he goes to church on Sunday And he passes round the contribution box Say you'll meet him in an office on a Monday He's as shrewd and just as cunning as a fox On Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday Say he's robbing everybody that he can Ah, oh, but he goes to church on Sunday, so they say that he's an honest man. All right, Mr. Bones, let's have it. They walked the lane together. The sky was covered with stars. They reached the gate in silence. He lifted up the bars. She raised her two brown eyes to his. There was nothing between them now, for he was just a farmer boy, and she was a Jersey cow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got a poem, too. Well, what's your poem, Mr. Tambo? Well, here it is. He put his arms around her waist... Against her lips, he pressed a kiss. Said he, I've sipped from many a cup, but ne'er from a mug like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good, gentlemen. That's very good. Ladies and gentlemen, let's lend an ear to Bobby Byrne as he plays Lassus Trombone. <laughs> Bobby Byrne is joined by John Kelly in Tiger Rag. about goldfish. She's crazy about goldfish? Yes, sir, she's crazy about goldfish. In fact, she keeps her bathtub filled all the time, and she has three dozen goldfish swimming around in it. Well, what does she do when she wants to take a bath? 
She blindfolds them. <laughs> By the light of the silvery moon, featuring Mr. Bones on the Bones. By the light. coffee with? Stir my coffee? Let's see. Uh, my right hand, I think. That's funny. I always use a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bone. Yes, Mr. Foy. Do you know how to make ice water without any ice? No. How do you make ice water without any ice? Peel an onion. That'll make your eyes water. <laughs> <laughs> and next, ladies and gentlemen, for your pleasure, we present Professor Schlesinger and his flying xylophone. Turn singing down by the old mill stream. Down by the old mill stream, where I first met you, first met you with your eyes so. in gingham too. It was there I knew that you And the grand finale. The bells are ringing. 